What's up guys, I'm Joey and this is Performance Outdoor. I love all things about the outdoors. My favorite thing is finding quality gear that doesn't break the bank. If that's something you're interested in too, hopefully you'll consider subscribing to my channel and checking out some of my other videos. Now today I'm really excited, gonna be doing something a little bit different. I don't normally do opening videos, but if you follow any outdoor companies, brands, or personalities on Instagram, Facebook, anything like that, you have without question seen an advertisement for the Click Chair, the chair that's the size of a large water bottle. Well, I actually reached out to Click recently and had the opportunity to partner with them on a review and they sent me this chair. I have not opened it yet and I'm really excited because the pictures and the advertising that they do make it look like this really badass chair. So I'm excited to open this up and get the initial impressions and then put it to the test. So opening today, gonna be using my K-Bar Dozier. Um, I wanted to make mention of this and give a shout out to a subscriber who let me know when I did a recent review of this knife that you can actually swap out the knives interchangeably between other K-Bar Dozers you have. So I swapped out the black blade with a different K-Bar that I have. So I now have a sweet black on black setup with this. So shout out to the, to the subscriber who did that. So opening this up. <clears throat> So we got instructions here, let's get rid of those, try to open this up without them. First impression is there's no bag, it doesn't come with a bag, but it's wrapped up with this little like nylon looking cord, Velcro, let's click Brandon on it. Alright, so let's see if we can set this up without any instructions. So the legs seem like they lock out just like that, and this is the back, oh, it's got a telescope and rod. Both sides. And just like that. That's pretty sweet. That was easy. No way that is in frame whatsoever. Hi. All right, let's do this again, but on the ground this time. We'll break it down too. So, got these push pins here. Collapses the back end. Easy peasy. Move for the front. It has this fold over. There's a button right here. Just press that. And collapses up. And you wrap it around. There you go. Oh, it's got a little hook right there for keychain, I guess. Hook it on your pack. Let's try this again. Opens it up. The legs kind of snap in place. Cool. And then you start spinning out the front part. This is the back. There you go, you got a chair. Like in the back. I got some mesh. Oh, you got a pocket right here. Big size pocket, actually. Pocket right here. It goes all the way, all the way to the other side, actually. That's pretty big. Okay, let's give it a, give it a sit test. Yeah. I really like that, that's comfortable. The part on a chair that always is super annoying for me, and you can tell right away, is if it's too narrow from where the posts are, and I'm a little bit of a bigger guy, about six foot 180. And I can always feel a chair digging into my legs, like right here. And this doesn't do that at all. If anything, you kind of are acting like a, it's almost got like this hammock quality to it. Or it's supported at the, the four posts here, here, and the same on the other side. It's kind of like you're, you're free floating. You got access to the pocket on each side. Good first impression. All right guys, so fast forward about a month and I have used this chair absolutely everywhere. Out on the trail, soccer games, fishing, I've even used it as a desk chair a couple of times. There's a couple things I'll say about it. One, it's ridiculously comfortable, even with a long sit. 
sat through a couple of my son's soccer games around an hour or so and it's really comfortable actually has good back supports for, for being such a small chair it's really durable it's got these really heavy duty aluminum legs with nice rubber footings so it doesn't slide around on the ground at all it doesn't feel like you're going to tip over it feels ridiculously sturdy as well it says that it can hold up to 300 pounds i only weigh about a buck 80 myself but it feels really sturdy when i'm sitting in it those heavy duty aluminum legs and rubber footing uh, feet um, just make for a really sturdy sit, doesn't slide around at all. It's breathable too, so it doesn't actually seem like your back is getting all sweaty and, 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 and nasty from sitting in it for a long time. So I have been absolutely pleased with this. And one thing that really surprised me is how much of a conversation starter it is. Every time I would break it out, people would come up and just kind of stare at it and they're like, what, 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 what chair is that? And I'd let people sit in it. And everybody also agreed that how comfortable it was and just how neat it was and the fact that it folds down into just such a small little size like this. Um, as far as weight goes, it's a little bit more on the heavy side. It's 3.9 pounds or 3 pounds 9 ounces. So it's a little bit on the heavy side. So if you're ultra like backpacking and you want to bring a chair with you, it's probably not going to be where you go. But for me, I, I love just being able to throw it into my backpack and hit the trail real quick. Um, and I usually will just leave it in my car for any time I'm at a soccer game or practice or going to be hitting the trail. Totally is going to replace what I used to bring with me when I was backpacking and wanted to have a, a little chair with me. Usually day hikes, not, nothing longer. It was uh, this little Alps tripod chair. And at just about two pounds, it's great. Um, I really like it, but it has no back. Um, the posts are kind of digging into your butt. Um, so I've used this a lot, I've used this for a few years, but for now, if I'm ever gonna go out on the trail, I'm 100% gonna be using this click chair and it'll always be with me. Um, the price varies. If you follow them on, uh, on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see that they sometimes post deals, like buy two at a discounted price. It's usually around like 90 bucks for the chair. They've got a whole bunch of different uh, color options. I'll put a link in the description below to their website. I make no money off of it whatsoever. I've got no affiliation with them other than the fact that I got hooked up with Click and they sent me this chair and I am absolutely thrilled. And I want to be honest with you guys, like if I get a product for free, I'm not obliged or beholden to that company to only give them a good review. If something is wrong about the product, I'm going to say it. The only thing that I am not thrilled about with this is, is it's a little bit heavy, but it's really not that big of a deal at three pounds, nine ounces. But I honestly, I can't say anything negative about this chair. I've used it a ton. Uh, I've let, lent it to friends, let some friends sit in at games. Like Everybody seems to like it. I absolutely love it. Um, so I can't really think of any negatives about this or anything on the design that I would improve. Really comfortable. It's easy to set up. Like I said, it's kind of a conversation starter, which is, is usually fun. So check it out. So that's it for me today. If you guys found this useful, if you're interested in Click or any other products, hopefully you'll consider subscribing to my channel, checking out some of my other videos, and we'll see you again soon.